Right. First things first. I know I look like shit. Uh, didn't plan to make a video today. Uh, but the fact is that it's coming on half two now, and I was planned to do this at some point. This, of course, is my second uh, low energy opinions. And today we are talking about a serious topic that is less esoteric than my own, my previous one. Um, we're talking about something that is in uh, on everyone's minds right now, and that is the Eighth, rather the Eighth Amendment. Basically, it's the abortion law, rather it's a bill, and it's basically whether or not you want to uh, repeal it. Now, obviously some background is needed because a lot of people don't know uh, Irish law. I don't really either. I don't know a huge deal of it. Uh, but basically in 1983, the um, Eighth Amendment was passed, and it basically said that both child and mother have exact equal rights. Now, abortion was already illegal in Ireland, but uh, there was a case, I believe, where the pro-life groups got a little bit scared. So uh, they wanted to more or less codify it, make it specifically uh, specifically about it. And I think there was some backroom compromising, I mean democracy, that's how it works, where they agreed that if the woman's life was in danger, abortion could happen. But cases of rape uh, incest, both, and uh, even say tremendous amount of pain, and I don't just mean regular pain of childbirth, but I mean, uh, say it could completely destroy your system. Uh, that is all entirely acceptable, ignoring the fact that you know the woman has no say whether or not she wants to keep it. It could just be an accident. Um, but, as you can imagine, everyone started to like take sides. And for decades, people were going on and on about how life is sacred, Jesus death, and this. And, um, uh, the fetus that, but you know, that's happening everywhere that this argument takes place. And yes, I'm still doing the Italian hands thing. But recently, a few years ago in fact, uh, there was a law that allowed same-sex marriage to pass. It was actually the first thing I ever voted on. And it was just like completely lopsided for yes. And that kind of got the ball rolling. Oh, and by the way, where I'm living now, Leitrim Sligo voting area, we were the only place to vote in no. And at the time, I wasn't registered here. I had to go back to Dublin to cast my vote. And on my way back, I had a look at the, the sign, and it looked like a big cancer spot on Ireland. Uh... So that was a bit embarrassing. But the vote with abortion, you'd think, oh, they're going to follow the same lines. Some people break off, you know. You've obviously got the pro vote, which is self explanatory. Uh, you want women to have a say in it, you, more importantly, the final say, 
whether or not they want to keep it. Um, there was a famous case not too many years ago of an Indian woman who died because of a miscarriage. And it was misquoted that the doctor said something along the lines of, oh, this is a Catholic country, we can't allow this. But it still was more or less the thinking behind it. And Ireland has lost a lot of, the Irish Catholic Church has lost a lot of power. Still there, but it's like a shell. So many priests get done these days for even vaguely being aware of like scandals usually related to children but also related to money everyone always knows about the children no one really talks about how many times they put their fingers into political pies this eighth amendment being one of them but anyway back to back to this the um the pros of course want the choice they want it to be um a right and most people in Ireland support it and I imagine that the bulk of them including myself of course let's just make this abundantly clear I am for this um, are going to vote yes on the 25th of May this will be the 36th amendment but obviously I'm not going to say yes it's a guarantee it looks like it's going to be a guarantee. The polls have been pretty much still completely one-sided. But the cons, they aren't really taking the religious side completely. There are still that. There's still that element. But instead, there's been a lot of ads. I'm going to get to the ads in a minute. My own personal spin on this. But the ads have been mostly about things like... Uh, this is the only, um, this is the only, um, rule that protects the children, the, um, the baby. And, you know, they are picturing this idea that if the parents, because the parents are so vapid and, like, uninterested in trying to be parents if they see that their child example will have down syndrome they're just going to abort the baby and that's so not the way to go <laughs> they're pointing to like one in five abortions with uh, have been uh, in the UK they use statistics like that I have not checked up on those statistics but you have anything has taught me while being online it's that those statistics can easily be fixed easily be messed with or just misquoted uh, of course then you've got the religious side of it but one key thing I've also noticed with the religious elements on the con is something I heard here on the radio a few a few months back, probably November, because this has been on the table for a long while now. Even as far back as the uh, proposing to put the bill forward towards the uh, the equal marriage law. The church was saying, even if this happens, we won't support an abortion bill, because they could see which way the wind is going. Uh, and you're thinking, oh, so what? if they don't have any power left. Well, there is one huge area where the Catholic Church still has a say, and that is the healthcare system. The Irish Church pumps in millions, if not even more, into the healthcare system. And this isn't a secret, it's very open. It's always, it, it runs uh, hospitals and uh, clinics and rehabilitation centers. And they've made it very clear that if this bill passes, they can't be a part of a system that, in their eyes, kills children. So they're going to pull that, which means the taxpayer will have to pick up that or watch as these places shut down. The thing about that is, while I was completely like oblivious to this fact in the beginning, so what? 
I'll gladly pay a little bit extra in my taxes each year to make up for the slack. If only to show the Catholic Church that it has no real power over me. I mean, it's basically trying to blackmail us at this point. As if our eternal soul um, wasn't enough. But I have to admit, I didn't see that one. And I'm sure they're going to hit elsewhere. I'm sure they're going to try elsewhere. But the fact is, even around here, and I think to make up for the whole... Um, the whole voting no in the last election. I think uh, the people around here are trying extra hard because the amount of yes ads everywhere. And I think I've seen one no. Um, uh, I think the eighth, its slogan is like um, protect both. And uh, yes is sort of like together for change or something like that. But it doesn't matter. The yes is going to win. I don't know if it's going to win by a landslide. I'd like to think it would win by a landslide, but you can never tell. And of course, I could be completely wrong. It could be like everyone thought the Scottish vote was going to go completely with Scottish independence. Nope. <laughs> no one could imagine breakfast. Breakfast? I didn't say breakfast. I did. I said breakfast. Brexit. Maybe I'm just hungry. <laughs> Vote yes for Brexit. Oh shit, I didn't even do the joke right. Oh. See, this one's a little bit, uh, a little bit higher tone than the last one. Nothing. There's nothing after death. Compared to this. Uh, Vote yes for Brexit. I did the joke wrong again! Uh, this is why. Low energy joking. Low energy joking aside. But uh, the point is, we're um, around here, it's just yes votes everywhere. That doesn't say that we don't have any no votes. There's going to be no votes in every area. And I wouldn't be surprised if this place ended up as a no vote. But it, it doesn't matter because the rest of the country is going to vote yes. I remember as a kid, whenever a British ship would pull into port, sometimes it would stop. If I had like a, a doctor on board, it would stop uh, in in Dublin Harbour, just slightly outside of Irish waters, and women would go out, would be ferried out to have a to have an abortion. Um, sometimes they have to take like women are so terrified that they have to take these like pills because oh shit here I am talking about all this shit and and to even just get the morning after pill is ridiculous like, you can't just buy it um here as far as I remember I remember this when my um I was with a girl at the time she had to get a prescription for it like, the doctor had to write out a prescription. And if I remember her right, our doctor was very religious. Um, she once told me, I'm not going to say which girlfriend, I'm not going to say which doctor. Um, she once told me that it would have been, she was going to get uh, uh, some, uh, the coil uh, put in. And the doctor said it would be easier if you had the child first and then put a coil in. Uh, it would be easier for you and it would be, if I remember right, it would be more moral, is what he said. If she was making this up, like, I don't see what, what reason she would be making this up. And this wouldn't be the first time I've heard something like this, even from that doctor and from other doctors. There is this level of bullshit that still remains. It's dying, but it's still there. But here I am talking about all these things, and most of which, you know, especially if Americans are watching this, they're just going, yeah, well, get in line. We're not as bad as you, <laughs> you know. We're not, we're not blowing up abortion clinics, though. That could happen. Ireland has a long history of bombs, but let's hope not. But 
the one thing I want to talk about personally I've noticed is something I also noticed with the the vote uh, for equal marriage and that is the amount of no votes I'm seeing online and very few yes votes ads that I mean less votes more no but can you tell I'm a little bit tired I want to get this done I just want to get this done but the amount of no vote ads I'm seeing on YouTube is ridiculous it seems every time I click on a video a no vote ad comes on this is the exact same thing that happened with the uh, equal marriage law and I imagine afterwards the next one up which is legalizing weed which everyone else is also for is gonna have tons of no votes ads playing and I don't know whether that's a YouTube algorithm or thinking that I'm some sort of like conservative or some shit like that because last time I checked I'm not um, but I'm seeing very few yes votes except ones that have been shared on say Facebook by friends and family and groups like that but it has given me a chance to like check up on them and so I went to the no vote ad uh, the website just to see and I've seen that sort of thing before it looks like a cult it, it feels like something that's um, a modern day uh, church from America would that would try to be like really really like um, accessible via the internet to get as many people as possible all these smiling faces all all different nationalities and you know I'm sure there's a few gay people there there was gay people in Ireland voting no uh, for the equal marriage and they did love to show them off <laughs> it's like Trump having black voters you know um, but I don't get it and frankly I don't like it I don't like seeing the no votes up but pretty soon they're gonna be gone because pretty this is gonna pass and this will allow women who can't have kids who have been raped who um, who don't want kids who just don't want kids to get the get the help that they should have always had but I need to vote here if only to make up for the fact that I didn't vote yes here last time so that's what I'll be doing on the 20 on the 25th of next month and after that passes like I said there's a chance it might not there's always a chance but let's be honest here it's gonna pass times have changed for the better after that passes we can move on to the next one on the list to make Ireland even better which is of course weed that's been on the table for a while and if I'm still doing that when this is passed probably in a year or two I'm definitely going to be talking about it on this and I'm definitely going to be voting yes regardless if I'm still here if I'm still in Ireland a year or two from now when it's on the table absolutely that's a something else for an, another time but yeah that's that's it if I'm going to have links in the description if you want to know more but it's pretty much an open and shut case. It's just on everyone's lips right now. And as you can imagine, there's a lot of there's a lot of um, uh, biased viewpoints, and on my side as well. Absolutely, on my side as well. I saw someone in my uh, Facebook feed today say um, she's almost certainly going to vote yes, but she says that like she can't find anywhere that just telling it as it is well I'm not the place for that 
Oh, she wasn't asking me. She was just saying it to everyone. She was she was openly admitting that like the yes vote has propaganda. Of course, the no vote has propaganda too. The no vote is, frankly, in my opinion, all about propaganda. As a scared, diminishing side of an argument would definitely throw out. But point is. This vote, when it passes, will be a long time coming. So long. And we'll be one step closer to being in a country that is actually livable. I don't know how it's going to be handled after it's passed. I'm sure there's a lot of debate going on with that. What sort of model should we copy? Should we pick and mix from different countries? But I have a good feeling about it. The next video I'm going to do is probably going to be a live stream. So that will be either tomorrow or the next day. However, I also have that beer shipment on the way. Again, might come tomorrow, might come Tuesday. I don't know. And on Wednesday, I don't think I'm going to be doing a live stream, but I am going to be making my video walking up to uh, Drumshambo, which would be nice. Assuming the weather holds, it's gotten a little bit shittier. Don't want to be walking in the rain. No, my look, it's going to be lashing rain. If that's the case, I'll have tons of cash and nothing but time. So I could still make a video. I could still go out, do something. Or I could just do a live stream. Who knows? But uh, once again, this was my. Opinions, they are quite low energy, especially tonight. Jesus. But I just want to do something, like I said. I want to feel like I've been very productive today. So I just wanted to wrap it up with doing a video. So, yeah. If you liked this, like. If you don't like, for whatever reason, dislike. Uh, in the comment away. Feedback is always welcome. Including suggestions I've been getting. I got a suggestion not too long ago. That I've been pondering. I told them maybe not, but I actually might go back on that. I actually might do it. And also this week, expect a reaction video. Yee. Jesus. Yee. Someone has to start screenshotting my faces. Just the faces of low energy. Ooh. Christ, I need to go to sleep. Alright. Bye.